right, guys. So here we go. I'm going to show us how to do a label on Google SketchUp. So first of all, delete the man, all right? And then you got to make sure that uh, you're working in the right dimensions. And so we got to click on millimeters, all right? Because we're making a small label. All right, I don't want to make any changes to this model, so I'm going to go no. And it's going to take me to a new template. Now, I click the man, get rid of him. I've got to go to this area here um, and select a rectangle. Now, I start doing a rectangle, and then I'm going to write in my dimensions, which is going to be 80 mm, which stands for millimeters, 10 mm. All right, and then you almost can't see it. All right. But then um, you can write in those axis areas. So I'm just going to scroll in. Okay, make sure my cursor is over my object because um, that's where it's going to scroll in, wherever my cursor is. Now I want to get into a good view of my project. All right, and then now uh, for it to 3D print um, well, it needs to be uh, thickness, okay, to one millimeter. All right, and so once I've got up to one millimeter, that's my building service. I can then do lettering on it. Now the letters are where the shapes are uh, uh, on the tools. Okay, and so I'm going to go to 3D text. I select my 3D text. Now you're going to notice that you've got uh, different options here and there. These are your uh, different styles of text. I'm going to use the top three only the bottom two don't come up well on the 3d printer when it's really intricate uh, whatever top three ones i do choose i need to make sure that it is in bold okay because it stands out and it prints a lot better now the height is um how each let how big each letter is and so uh seven millimeters millimeters is um a good height uh, for, for it to fit in and then text extrusion now, text extrusion means how much the letters pop out. Okay, so I'm going to go one millimeter. I want it to pop out just the same thickness as the base that I've started with. All right, and I'm going to write my name here for my label, Matua Nate. Okay, and then here I am here. Now, it's extremely important that when I go to put my lettering on top of my base, that it says on face. That means that the lettering is connected to the base. Uh, and then now I need to select out so I don't move uh, move my letters off. Okay, and then I can look at the side and see that everything is sitting well. And so that's going to print well. And, that, and my label's right by these axes, which is really good as well. So that's how I create my label. Now, the important part. Also, for, for in order for it to be 3D printed, is that it's got to be downloaded in the right file. Now, the way you download a file for it to be 3D printed, you go to um, the folder here, go to export, and then to STL. Everyone say STL. Okay, so STL is the 3D printer version. Okay, I click that, All right, and that's going to download um, my my file um, to then be uh, shared to the 3D printer. So that's how I create my label and get it ready to be 3D printed. Now before I exit out, I want to make sure that I've labeled and saved my project correctly. So I'm going to write Matua Nate label, click inside here, and that's going to allow me to then save it. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and like and comment in the comments below.